Hello and welcome to African History. Today we are going to West Africa to dive into the history of the Queen Abla Puku, who led her people from present day Ghana to Ivory Coast to found the Baole Nation. But before that, she had to give away her most precious creation, her son. Abla Poku was born in the early 18th century. She was the niece of King Ose Tutu, the co-founder of Ghana's Ashanti Empire. After his death, a succession battle erupted, and Dakon, Abla Poku's brother, who was one of the successors to the throne, was murdered. And that's when she decided to leave. She was joined by all of Dakon's loyalists who refused to let Opuku Ware ascend to the throne. She then collected a large caravan and guided the people to present the Ivory Coast. And this is when it becomes interesting. Legend has it that during their flight, Queen Abla Poko and her followers found themselves stranded on the banks of the Komeo River, a natural border between present day Ghana and Ivory Coast. The river at its highest level due to heavy rains is uncrossable. And because of that, Queen Abla Poko consulted the wise men who accompanied them. He said that in order to cross the river, the river gods required a sacrifice in form of a child of noble lineage. Abla Poko decides shortly after to throw her own child into the river. The narrative then goes on to describe an incredible occurrence in which the trees on the bank bent their trunks to form a bridge. Another story claims that enormous hippos came and lined up to form a bridge over the river allowing Abla Poco and her people to pass. After the crossing, Abla Poco greeted her companions and said Bawuli, which means the child is dead. This phrase could be the origin of the name of the Baole people who live in Ivory Coast today. But some people, such as Kwame Rene Alu, a university history teacher, believe that Queen Abla Puku probably did not sacrifice her child. There are also times during the year when the Komeo River is so low that one can ford it, thanks to the rocks that appear on the surface. After crossing the river, the Baole people settle in the region. Upon her death, her niece Aqua Boni succeeded her, and she conquered new lands giving Baole men its present geographical configuration which extends from Boake to Tiasale and includes Tiebesu, Yamasukro and Tumodi, and from Beumi to Daukro and Dibokro. And that's it for this episode of African History. See you very, very soon. Bye!